Hello, this is a new section for vulnerability assessment. In the following subsections, you will see what is a vulnerability scanning and how we can perform it to find out or to identify vulnerabilities from the system. So let's get started. I hope you understand the meaning of vulnerability. If you are not very clear with the definition, then I insist you to go through those videos earlier in the course where we have done uh, different terminologies of cybersecurity or ethical hacking. And then come back here to understand vulnerability scanning. So this scanning is an automation software which will scan the system, any system which has or which have a naming convention such as an IP address. It will going to tell you or it will identify any weakness or any loopholes in the system, such as open port, outdated version of any software, unpatched operating system or the software. Well, if an attacker can find such weaknesses, an attacker going to exploit those weaknesses and can hack the system, basically. So this scanner is going to do is it is going to compare the vulnerability from your system which he identify and then compare it with the known vulnerability databases. If the comparison going to be matched then boom vulnerability found and otherwise not. Some of the known vulnerabilities uh, some of the known databases for vulnerabilities are national vulnerability database NVD which is really good and we have open source vulnerability database osvdb which i am not able to access but you can access nvd it is there in the uh, you know i mean in the in, in the internet you can please verify this it is there uh, so uh, the vulnerability is going to be compared here in the national vulnerability database if the comparison is going to be matched yeah there is a vulnerability in your system so how basically this uh, this whole thing vulnerability scanning works what is the process we generally call it as a vmp which is vulnerability management process where first you need to identify the vulnerability with the help of any scanner available in the market once you or your scanner identify a particular vulnerability then you have to do something called as a risk calculation so you are if you own a company then you have basically you have to uh, you have to evaluate the risk that what kind of loss uh, you will um, you will going to grab if you do not uh, mitigate that vulnerability so risk evaluation is the second uh, you know process the second step uh, after you identify the vulnerability uh, well, a risk evaluation is equals to the cost factor basically. You know, what is the cost to uh, mitigate that vulnerability and what is the cost if you will not mitigate that vulnerability. Okay, this is the basic thing in the second step they calculate. The third step is to basically mitigate that vulnerabilities. So in the first step you identify, in the third step you need to, uh, you need to somehow, you know, just uh, remove that vulnerability. You have to patch your system somehow. So this is the third step. And after the um, third step, we have uh, a reporting, which is basically, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, you need to put all those uh, things that you have gathered in the um, in the scanning. You need you need to manage in the some 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 kind of report you have to manage. And why it is important? It is important for the future purposes. Uh, maybe if you find the second vulnerabilities the, of the same type, then you can, you know, you, you do not have to again do the risk evaluation and then um, some other calculation. You do not need to do it for the second time. You already have in the report. Uh, you can use, you just need to, you know, refer it. So th that's why we do reporting. So these are the four steps by which VMP process works. And this is the thing. And after that, we need to understand what kind of vulnerability assessment we have. So there are basically four types. One is active, passive, external, and internal. Very simple. Active assessment, yeah, I hope you already know this. Well, active assessment is something like uh, if there is a live network or there is an active network and you are sending some request to the net to the network, then it is known as active assessment. So on a live network, you are, you know, poking that poking the host i mean um, it is something like uh, if there is a person is not sleeping and you are poking him then definitely he gonna he gonna know this right so active assessment always 
uh, is going to be um, very noisy. I mean, host will definitely going to know that someone is doing uh, scanning in my in my system. So active assessment is in, it includes actively sending requests to the network and analyze the responses, and then later we can find any vulnerability uh, associated with the system or not. Okay, that is the active assessment. The passive assessment is basically done by not sending a request to the live network, okay, where host will never know, get to know that someone is scanning, okay, this is the best way. Well, generally in the passive assessment, we do sniffing, okay, with the help of sniffing, we got get to know is there any uh, vulnerability uh, associated with the system or not, all right. The third assessment is external assessment, where the perspective of um, a person is to hack the system. And in that perspective, he going to discover some vulnerabilities and he will exploit it from the outside. So this is external assessment. The fourth assessment is internal assessment, where something like, uh, you know, you just uh, manually or you are doing the um, uh, automatic month by month or weekly, you are scanning your system just to get to know is there any vulnerability available in my network or not okay if you are if you are owning a company uh, and you are having a large infrastructure you are doing it like weekly or maybe monthly scanning and then you will get to know that is there any vulnerability uh, available with my infrastructure or not just to get to know it is known as internal assessment all right so these are the four types and uh, these are some of the tools by which you can scan the the best one is nexpose and openwas uh, then we can later on we can go for Metasploit and map nicto is uh, there we have nicto for web vulnerability scanning if you are having website and if you want to find is there any uh, vulnerability available in my website or not just like xss or sql injection then this nicto will going to tell you that we have wireshark and aircrack ng for wireless vulnerability scanning um, so these are some of the best one for the vulnerability scanning the next thing we need to understand is we have a scoring system for the vulnerability. So once you go to the, you know, CVE or these databases, and the uh, the common vulnerability in exposure CVE, which is basically a kind of database where all the vulnerabilities are reported and all the vulnerabilities are having a scoring system. So if a vulnerability uh, having a security level of none, then there is a rate 0, 0.0. If the vulnerability having a security level low, then there is a 0 0.1 or 3.9 score rate and something like that. Okay, you can go for critical vulnerability, just like eternal, uh, uh, eternal blue we have a 9.0 and 10.0 maybe a critical we have not paid here or maybe run somewhere we have a 9.0 and 10.0 score rate there are many um, well it, it is not just an attack but i'll show you there is cve 2019 6790 detail which is basically a, a there is a, a there is a loophole in the gitlab community uh, it, basically it is an um, authorization uh, problem so you can see here that there's a base score of 4.3 medium, which is, you can see here, medium is coming in under this region. So this is a medium. Sometimes you will find a vulnerability of uh, 9.0 and 10.0, which are which are uh, of, of greater, you know, um, something like uh, NordPTR, which has, you know, uh, cumulatively it had affected a large number of organizations. So. So those kind of vulnerabilities uh, having a base score of 9 or 10. So you can see that uh, NVD, we have a vulnerability database. It is comparing uh, the CVEs there in the listed in the NVD and then we have a base score of 4.3. Uh, later on, we will uh, understand that uh, what basically a vulnerability type, how we can bifurcate vulnerabilities. So there are different types of bifurcation. A vulnerability type one is system flaw. There might be a cause by which we are opening that vulnerability, like there is a high complexity of code. And that's why we, we cannot solve it. And that's why we have different types of bugs available in the, in the code. And you can understand that there is a vulnerability type. There is a system flaw, definitely. If there is a vulnerability of boot sector, then you, you probably know that the cause is the code complexity and uh, there might be a bug in the code because you do not understand the code. Definitely, there are going to be multiple bugs available in the code and that's why there is a system flow, right? I hope you understand it. The next uh, vulnerability type is a missing security component. Like maybe you own a company, um, a small company, but you do not have high budget. 
you do not have uh, you know have that kind of resources available with you so you will uh, you will equip less number of firewalls and ids and ips which was definitely uh, first line of defense uh, you will equip less number of firewalls so uh, there is a lack of security and definitely someone going to um going to in, in, intrusion is going to intrude your company okay he will going to come into your company do the malicious work and come out there is no issue in it so uh, because of the high cost you will not equip large number of firewalls and ids and ips and that's why there is a vulnerability the third is basically the human brain manipulation you already know that we have a social engineering attacks large number of uh, where uh, the intention intention is to manipulate your brain so that you can click some of the link or you download or upload something so uh, generally it is because uh, you ignore some of the things you because lack of the awareness you are having you do not know what is phishing uh, what is um, spywares malwares you do not know and because of the those lacking you generally ignore the fact that there is a there is a vulnerability all right so these are the these are some of the types and based on such types we have vulnerabilities in our system and then uh, the very basic question comes up whenever we do vulnerability scanning that isn't it, it we are doing is penetration testing penetration testing and vulnerability scanning are are somehow you know they are same but there is a huge difference between these two terms and uh, the main two points here i i will I put it over here is vulnerability scanning is an automated process we have a we have different tools you already know open was um, we have nexpose they are automation um, tools where you just have to provide the naming convention and then it will give you the result in terms of vulnerabilities found or not however penetration testing is is going to be manually done by some professional okay just like a penetration tester is going to manually do it okay so it is not an automation process however it will use some automation but it is done by some person okay so he is going to do some something here something in the first uh, tool then he will relate it with the second tool and then he is going to relate it to the third tool and then cumulatively it will it will going to know that is the vulnerability available or not okay so he is he is, um, he is going to be manually done uh, so the second difference is a vulnerability scanning will going to provide will provide you only the vulnerability is the vulnerability available or not however penetration testing will not only identify vulnerability but it will find the root cause of the vulnerability where exactly the vulnerability is coming from penetration testing is going to give you that so this is the the difference between these two terms all right so i hope you like it so thank you so much i'll see you in the next session and we will see that how we can perform different types of vulnerability scanning with uh, different tools thank you so much